Okay. The man at the back is called Ted Galloway. He runs a bar just outside Malaga. This is his wife, Mary. And this is their villa overlooking the harbour. This is my sister-in-law, Sunbaby. <laughs> As you can see, the weather was smashing. <laughs> That's my Uncle Jack on a donkey. <laughs> and this next one was taken in a lovely little taverna around one of the back streets. <laughs> Hi, Sergeant. Lights. And next year we're going to try Tuscany. <laughs> right, any questions? No, sir. Oh, by the way, I've got a little assignment for you two. Oh, good, a chance to cut some crooks. <laughs> a couple of days ago, we picked up Scarface Jack McBride. Hitman, underworld big shot, bank robber. He's a hard man, one of the old school. Refusing to name names. Says he won't squeal to a copper. Well, we're going to plant someone in his cell. Someone that he'll trust. Good idea, sir. Someone that no one in his right mind would believe was a policeman. <laughs> Very cunning. Well? <laughs> so, what are you lovely ladies in? In for? In prison for? Yeah. What did the filthy Melvin Pig get you in for? Me? <laughs> oh, uh, Speedy. Speeding. In an airplane. <laughs> Speeding in an airplane. I nicked this airplane and, you know, <laughs> just, just started going too fast in it. <laughs> what about you, pretty boy? Who, oh, me? Oh, lots of different things. Such as? Oh, lots of major crimes. Shoplifting, arson. Fighting with big blokes in betting shops. <laughs> Any, uh, GPH? GPH? Yeah, <laughs> you know. The old GPH, yeah. Great big hold-ups. <laughs> Grievous bodily harm. And that. So what are you in for then, Macca? Walking on the grass. I thought you were there for walking on the grass. Yeah. Thompson, I think his name was. <laughs> and I maimed a couple of coppers. See, there's one thing I can't stand. Coppers. I can smell them. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, Jack. Why do they call you Scarface? <laughs> <laughs> I like him when the lights a joke. <laughs> you get nicknames? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hundreds of them. Some people call me the killer, and others just call me Mad Bastard. <laughs> At school, they used to call me Spunky. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Pop to the loo. Yeah, must be all that tea I had at the station before I came. <laughs> Railway station. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. I wish to go to the loo. Uh, if you're looking for the Kazi, son, you're standing on it. <laughs> you mean? Yeah, unless you want to hold it until recreation time. When's recreation time? Uh, 23 hours. 24 minutes. 23 hours? That's barbaric. That's criminal. I mean, what about 
You know, like number twos. <laughs> All within the bucket. Number ones, number twos, number threes. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. Well, soon see about that, eh, Dave? Oi, screw! We want a proper lavatory in here, all right? We're not animals, you know. We want a proper bomb. Oi, screw! Give us a loo! <laughs> number one! And number two! <laughs> Oi, screw! Give us a loo! For number one to number two! <laughs> you get a little tingly feeling on your gums. I can't feel anything. I'll try a bit more. <laughs> well, it's more a tickle than a tingle. <laughs> I'd say it was a, I'd say it was a, was it was a, was a tingle, tingle. Knock so cute. No, 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 it's not a knock so cute.
ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਚੇਂਜ ਕੀ ਜਾਂਦਾ Louis. Look at you two. You don't mind if we don't salute, sir, do you? It's a call from Interpol. They want us to handle something very big. Very, very big. <laughs> This will be the biggest thing I've ever had to handle. <laughs> They're sending a special detective over from New York. One of the big knobs. <laughs> very hard by all accounts. <laughs> Best dick on the American force. <laughs> Where are you, Louis? Can't you go? Uh, not when I'm standing next to someone uh, in authority, sir. <laughs> Interpol have asked us to look after this New York mugshot for the duration of the investigation. We can handle it, sir. We know all about American cops, don't we? Yeah, the only dumb ones have personal problems. And they wear those sort of um, nice little, you know, gun bras, don't they? <laughs> But this is no ordinary American cop. Why is that, sir? There's something about this particular detective you're not going to like. What's that, sir? <laughs> Lieutenant Kowalski, New York Police, homicide. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? You never seen a pair of 38s before? Well, it is, no. As I was going to say, Lieutenant Kowalski is a lady. Any problem for you, Louis? Well, hey, listen, come here. Ow. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I don't want some pain in the butt female reaching for the Kleenex every time the going gets tough. Let me tell you something. I am not one of those women who sits around in the bathroom for hours plucking her bikini line, okay? I'd rather wrestle a crackhead than to go to some fag hairdresser to get my hair dyed. You just think of me as one of the guys. You get my meaning, big fella? Oh! <laughs> Any problem for you, Briggs? No, no problem at all. I adore female company. Here we go again. <laughs> so, what's a pretty little thing like you doing in a big, bad place like this? <laughs> Briggs and Louis are at your disposal, Lieutenant Kowalski. You may do with them what you please. Well, I've had tougher-looking guys color-coordinate my apartment, but I guess they'll do. Okay, Elsa! for a very hard week. Oh. <coughs> oh, she likes me. <laughs> Dave, you've got no chance. Bob, Bob. Oh, I've met her type before. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Bit of charm, bit of the old romance. She'd be like putty in my hands. Yo! Sorry I'm late, guys. Just spent the night having some pretty good sex with somebody I picked up in a bar. Guess he's going for sentimental farewells. <laughs> Good ass, though. So, uh, you're not married, then? Married to Brabadge and McGunn. What about you? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Liar. What <laughs> about Brenda? <laughs> Bob, Bob, hey. Same old jokes, eh? <laughs> Who's Brenda? His wife. Dead, alas. <laughs> Good old... Dead Brenda, my old dead wife. <laughs> dead as a dead old wife. <laughs> Sweet old thing, you know. Pretty enough. Stop it. Don't want to know about it. I don't like to get close to the guys I work with. Why? What we're going to do? Don't you know about our special assignment? No. Men, we're going to track down Carlos the Jackal. <laughs> 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 
I always see on News at 10, it looks a bit like uh, Tony Blackburn. Yeah, he's the most dangerous man in the world. He's ruthless, deadly, cunning. He's assassinated politicians in 25 different countries. He's got ice water running through his veins. And he's got a great butt. What makes you think we're going to find him? No. Oh. Checked into a Mayfair hotel yesterday, that much we do know. What we don't know is what disguise he'll be wearing. Hello. Do you have a Mr. Jackal staying here? <laughs> Carlos. The. Oh. <laughs> Kowalski, NYPD. Now listen, faggot. If you don't play ball with us, I'm going to close this place faster than cockroaches in the cheesecake. Capiche? No. No, I'm afraid I don't. <laughs> Flap him around. I'm going to go check the bedroom. <laughs> oh, you, Anna. Slop him. Okay, search his pants. His what? Search his pants. Try and find his weapon. His pants. <laughs> It's your turn, I got slapped by the constable. You can just feel his fanny for Christ's sake. His fanny? His fanny. Hold it. There he is. The jackal. <laughs> Tony Blackburn. Tony Blackburn, my ass. <laughs> Cover me, boys. I'm going in. <laughs> no! Freeze! Carlos the Jekyll, all along. Mind you, if you think about it, he'd have never made it as a DJ. <laughs> Too bad. Great ass. Of course I'd do him a couple of seen worse. Dave. Didn't I tell you to go private? Oh, the NHS isn't so bad. But I've been here ten minutes earlier, I could have had a place out in the corridor. Thank you, Mr. Patel. Patel? No. Oh, I've got a liver for Mr. Patel. Oh, try intensive care. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get him? Get who? The bloke who shot me at the stake out. No, we haven't got him as such. As such? As such. Oh, you must have seen him. He was standing behind me at the time. <sighs> no, I didn't see a thing. In one minute, I saw you pull your gun, and the next minute, I saw that monkey black. <laughs> Birmingham City won last night. It was you, wasn't it? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, 
That's great, that is, isn't it? First day on the serious crime squad, and you shoot me in the back. <laughs> God. How long am I going to have to apologise for? OK, so I shot you. OK, so you lost six pints of blood. OK, so you nearly died. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Bloody Fairy Knickers. Satisfied? <laughs> anyway, you haven't bought me any grapes. <laughs> brought you something better than grapes. What? Brought you some news that's going to cheer you up. <coughs> Super's taken us off the serious crime squad. Yeah. Just put us in the vice squad. <laughs> Rumpy Pumpy. <laughs> <laughs> The super said that messing about with dirty books was all we was good for. We were such a pair of... Wives. When you're quiet. It's exciting the patient. Now there's two million quid worth of hard porn here. And it's pretty hot stuff. And remember, no peeking. Comforting to know, isn't it, that this is one pile of filth that isn't going to be allowed to corrupt society? Too true. Makes our job worthwhile to know we're protecting innocent people. What sort of, uh, filth is this? Oh, the usual sort of filth. Bear ladies. Blimey. <laughs> Sexy brides. Hardcore pirate videos. What? Treasure Island? <laughs> <laughs> we bear pirates. <laughs> I mean, can you actually believe, can you, can you actually believe that people actually go out and buy this sort of stuff? <laughs> Strawberry. 
You're loving this, aren't you? You're loving every minute. Just clashes, that's all. It's supposed to clash. I'm a prostitute, not Gloria Bloody Hollywood. <laughs> I wanted something in navy, but they wouldn't have it. <laughs> be quiet. That must be HQ. You better answer it. <laughs> oh no, you haven't. Where else can you put a police issue two-way radio in this dress? <laughs> Damn still, I'll get. <laughs> Hello, Tango Victor, this is Scarlet Patrol. <laughs> Tango Victor, come in, Tango Victor. You must have got it tuned into the wrong frequency again. <laughs> Can you just the aerial? Try that. <laughs> I'm still getting interference. <laughs> this is Scarlet Patrol, Scarlet Patrol. This is Scarlet Patrol. Come in, please. Message received. Passenger call Scarlet Patrol on the corner of Lilac Avenue. Any idea where she wants to go? Tango Victor. Tango Victor, will you come in, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that, thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, get him to hand over the money first and then we'll nick him. Jump in then, love. Hello, dearie. Fancy a good time? <laughs> All right. Straight to the point. How much? Depends how far you want to go. <laughs> all the way. All the way. I don't want to go all the way. I'll go as far as you want to go. But I must be finished by midnight. I don't normally go beyond the outer circle. Huh? <laughs> how much is it if he doesn't want to go beyond the outer circle? <laughs> the outer circle? We can try going through the underpass if you want. Do you know what he's got under there? <laughs> Something that could get you into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Honestly, men. <laughs> I don't know what you're getting so worked up about. I feel a right prat. Is your idea to volunteer for this police community project? You heard what the super said. It's an important part of the job. Visiting schools, meeting the local kids, and showing them that a policeman is just an ordinary human being. It's easy for you to say. You haven't got to stand up in a classroom full of glue-sniffing skinheads dressed as PC bloody panda. <laughs> it's all wrong. Community policing is about building bridges, getting to know each person on the beat as an individual, taking an interest in their lives. Look, look, I'll show you. Okay, son, up against the wall. Community police. I just want to ask you a few questions. Okay. What are your hobbies? What? What do you like to do in the evenings? Eh? Come on, come on. Stamp collecting, bird watching, which is it? Stamp collecting. There you are. Found out more about a member of the community. 
gained his trust. Push up. <laughs> didn't realise the policemen are just human beings. <laughs> a bit more mates next time. There you are. Couldn't introduce me to his mates. <laughs> we live in a multiracial, multi ethnic society. Bloody roasting in here. <laughs> You've got to try to relate to people from different parts of the world. If I don't get out of this soup soon, I'm going to have a stroke. Open up to people. Show them that coppers are just ordinary folk with families and feelings just like that, you know. Community police. Do you know this woman? It's his wife, Brenda. Taking an holiday at Brighton. I went to Morecambe. <laughs> Can't stand here chatting all day. <laughs> nice to meet you. Come on, Bob. <laughs> well now, boys and girls, you've all heard of panda cars, haven't you? But what would we expect to find in a panda car? A pig! <laughs> no, a pig. Panda! So, here he is. Come in, PC!